Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. Thank you, heavens, for I can review the Dultron Thunder. The Dultron X. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. But you see, getting hold of a Dualtron X is not really easy because very few people decide on buying a scooter that costs around $6,000. Luckily, thanks to Zvinda Miasto, I will be able to test this thing. Um, the only thing is, uh, it's 300 kilometers away from me. But I had business to do anyways in the city, so yeah. It's 5 a.m. in the morning and I'm on the way to the train. So we have just arrived in Poznan and going to grab a bite to eat and I'm off to a meeting afterwards to ultra next time. Okay, all the meetings done. Now let's go to Svitnamiasto! Big thanks to Zvinda Miasto for providing me this scooter for testing and actually this will not be the final review. I got the scooter for several hours today for testing but I'm actually taking it home <laughs> to make the range test for you and to make thorough acceleration tests because today it's raining but I'm recording anyway and to measure everything that is to measure with the Dualtron X. Okay, but let, let's start with let's start with the specs. Believe me, it's not every day you get the ride and see a Dualtron X because this thing actually costs six thousand dollars. And what do you get for it? Six thousand seven hundred watts of power, a impressive one of its kind suspension on an electric scooter with huge travel, the possibility to adjust the compression and a ride that is totally different to any scooter on the market. It has a huge 60 volt 49 amp hour battery, which is actually 3000 watt hours. The tires are 13 inch big, so two inches bigger than the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus, and they're actually five inches wide. This is one inch wider than the thickest tubeless tire on an electric unicycle, the 9BOT Z10. And actually just a half inch narrower than the rear wheel of the Harley Davidson Life Wire. It weighs 65 kilograms. So it's so heavier basically than a lot of scooters, like seated scooters on the market. And it's foldable. So you can just, you know, carry it around casually. So the scooter is unique and extreme in pretty much every measure. It also has this awesome LED lighting that is white and it has a super powerful, let me wipe that off, super powerful front LED light which has a energy consumption of 30 watts. So it has this radiator here and still it's super warm. It's like six times more powerful than a single light on the Wolf Warrior 11 Plus. And by the way, these white LEDs actually consume much more power and in addition to the blue LEDs, there are four of them underneath the scooter, they need a separate battery. So if you actually turn on the scooter, here you have the voltage of the battery for all the lights, which you charge separately with this uh, no, sorry, that's uh, that's not just a phone charger, like two amps here and one amp here. <laughs> you can also plug in other stuff here. 
but you charge the external battery uh, right here separately from the scooter which is a small bummer but just goes to show you how much energy is needed for the lighting of the Dualtron X and the batteries are stored here they have the same nominal voltage as the scooter so let's count how many lights we have one two three like 30 watts four five six oh this is broken no <laughs> when you look here the scooter actually has turn signals <laughs> so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen uh <laughs> eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one lights and probably even more because there are also brake lights so now I think you know why there's an external battery for just the lights of the Dolton X. They probably consume more power than the whole drive unit of the Xiaomi M365. And the madness and sadly the rain continues as well. When you look here, there's a damper which helps you keep stability at higher speeds. Uh, what are the higher speeds? Well, maybe it's capable of 100 kilometers an hour. I have to yet review the footage of the Insta360 to see how fast I was going. But tell you what, with this damper, which is also adjustable as you can see, and these huge wide tires, going fast is super comfortable. And with the suspension, because when I was riding the TechLife X9, it is a bit twitchy when you go like above 80 kilometers an hour. And here, it feels basically like a motorcycle. Here you can see the front spring. Here you can see the shocks, front and rear. The rear one looks particularly awesome. And they're adjustable with adjustable compression and they provide you with a ride that is inaccessible to any other scooter just because of the way it's built. So if you look at the suspension travel, it's utterly insane. And the attention to detail goes also underneath the scooter because look here, here are the lights I was talking about. Here is actually a vent. <laughs> oh, Sid, it's full with dirt. <laughs> so we see a flaw. It gets full of dirt from uh, the wheel in front. But if there was any dirt, because it's basically a street scooter, um, there's airflow going through this whole contraption, going out here to provide you with cooling when the batteries and the controllers, because there are two controllers, each 50 amps, when the batteries or the controller might get just a little bit too toasty. I told you before that the battery is 60 volts and 49 amp hours. Here are the charge ports for the battery. If you charge with one charger, forget about ever riding the scooter because it would take, what, like 30 hours to charge it from zero to 100% with one charger. Therefore, there are two. So with regular two standard chargers, it would be around like 15 hours or 20 hours. But you can also get a fast charger, which will charge the Dualtron Thunder in uh, 10 hours. I oh, know, so it's standard, it's like 20 hours and with one charger, it's 40 hours. I'll, I don't know if I'm saying the right things. Just look at the screen. These are the correct numbers. If this battery capacity, if this range wasn't enough for you, there is actually another port here. So you can plug in your external battery. So, you know, if 100 kilometers of range or like 150 kilometers of range isn't enough for you, what well, sure dude, just, you know, just grab yourself an additional battery and plug it in here. <laughs> and the weather is now very stable. It's raining constantly. So sorry if the footage looks a little bit worse. So let me guide you through the controls. Let's start from the left side. Here we have the brakes, which are the same as uh, the Dualtron Thunder. I would like to see an upgrade here because the rotors look actually a bit small on these wheels. So they're also 160 millimeters. They, they break fine, but it would be nice to see like 200 millimeter rotors here because everything is extreme. Um, there are also brake lights. Uh, here we have the switch on the light very powerful light in various settings. Uh, here you have the emergency lights. Here you have the turn signals. There's a horn as well. 
pretty loud. Uh, here you have auxiliary buttons where you can also connect other stuff that is not yet on the Dual Trend Thunder and you can addi mount additional stuff on this rail here. So if you press this, the, all the lights will turn off and if you press this button, this is for these lights. Essentially, the upper button turns on the auxiliary power of the auxiliary battery and the lower button is for the additional lighting on the sides and on the bottom. Here we have the mini motors, uh, eye display, very usual, nothing to see here. Uh, you can see the full review of uh, this display uh, in the corner. And there's also a mount already de dedicated for like mounting your phone or additional lighting or other stuff. And here is the other brake. Uh, you saw the chargers here for your phone. Two chargers for your phone, I mean. Come on, that's, that's nice. Um, then you can see the cables are routed in these pipes. So this looks pretty cool and like in Star Wars like. The area for your feet is also huge. I mean, foot for scale. And the X is uh, coated with like sandpaper to make it non-slippery. And believe me, uh, this place for your feet is huge. And there's also uh, a uh, and there's also this foot uh, thing in the back so you can accelerate better and here you can see the majestic majestic fantastic um, rear shock and it's also like adjustable compression you can change out the springs it is really something one of a kind in the scooter world and here you can see the rear brake uh, also 160 millimeters and whilst the scooter is massive and chunky, its handlebars are actually more than 5 centimeters lower than on the Cabo Manis. Uh, and uh, the rear mudguard is the worst part of the scooter, because while it is longer, look at my... And this is the only time when I will say it. Look at my backpack. It's all covered in mud, because Dultron cannot design a mudguard. For sure you can extend it with like cheap parts from AliExpress, but I would like to see a standard mudguard that works. Uh, all right, so here there are also some like covers that look cool, no other purpose than that. And yeah, that's basically the overview and I'll be off to the scooter shop and I'm taking this baby home. So if you're still here, thank you. You'll really warm up my heart. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this and about this, and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.